Hello, I'm Debbie Gatlin, and as I was praying for you all this week, asking God for His heart for you, I began to see in my mind's eye a fox. And as I saw this fox, the scripture that came to mind was from Song of Solomon, the second chapter, the 15th verse. The book of Song of Solomon is all about, about Solomon and his great love for this little Shulamite, and it's about their romance. And it's also a type and shadow of God's great love for his bride, Jesus Christ and his, the bride of Christ. That's us. Those that have asked Jesus into your heart, hey, that's us. Or that we're his bride and he's crazy in love with us. Well, it starts off with a Shulamite and, 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 and um, Solomon. They're walking through the vineyards and they're, everything's in blossoming and it's blooming because it's springtime. And she looks at the vineyards and she says, catch the foxes for us. The little foxes that will ruin our vineyards, and in Amplified it says, of our love, while the vineyards in blossom. Catch the foxes for us, the little foxes that would ruin the vineyards of our love, while our vineyards are in blossom. Now in John, the 15th chapter, it, the first verse it says, Jesus talking, he says, I am the vine, and my father is the husbandman. husbandman. And then it goes on a few verses later, and it says, I am the vine and you are the branches, which is what is God saying? He's saying, you're my vineyard. You're my vineyard. You get your life and your power and your strength as you're one with me, as you're one with me. So when the Shulamite says, catch the foxes for us, the little foxes that are spoiling the vineyards of our love, the, the vineyards, it's something that inside of it, it's cutting off the life and the power of God from flowing to us to become fruitful people to bear his wonderful fruit, to bear his wonderful fruit. Now she's saying, catch the foxes for us, the little, little, little. The word little means small, a small thing. It's insignificant. It's unnoticed. It's the small, insignificant, unnoticed things that will take away your fruitfulness in God, that will steal the life and power of God from you, that will take your destiny away from you. The little things, the little things will keep you from being all that you can be in God. They'll steal them from you. Now the Bible talks about little things over and over because I'll let you know that this God that loves you so much, he cares about the little things. He looks at the little areas of your life, the little things, the little things, and they mean much to him. The Bible says, he that's faithful in a very little thing, little thing, is faithful also in much. And he that's unrighteous in the very little thing, little thing, is unrighteous also in much. It's the little things. The Bible talks about when Jesus tells this parable about the different servants that were given a portion of money and they invested it in a certain way. The ones that invested it wise, well, he says, you've been faithful with a little, I'm going to make you faithful with much. I'll make you faithful over many cities. I'll, I'll make you faithful with much. And, and then it says in 1 Corinthians, it says a little leaven. Well, it's not a big amount of leaven. It's the, a little leaven. It'll leaven the whole lump of dough. It's the little things. It's the little things that will leaven, leaven the whole lump of dough. It's little things. Now, the Bible also talks about, the, the, it's not, he compares the little things to foxes. He says they're little foxes. Uh, a fox is a type and shadow of of something that's cunning and something that's sneaky, something that, that wants to sneak in. And, and foxes, they, they don't like to be seen by, by humans. They're shy and solitary and, and cunning. They know how to get what they want. They'll wait and they'll watch from a bush or something, waiting on things to, things to happen. I remember seeing this little this swan having these babies and the babies hatched and then all oh, like eight or nine little babies and the next day there's only one. And I knew it was a fox that was waiting for those babies. See, they wait, they wait, and they could ruin a vineyard. These foxes would come into the vineyards on, when no human was around and they would eat all the choice and precious fruit and just ruin the vineyards. Jesus talked about Herod as a fox. When Jesus was going into Jerusalem and as he's on his way toward Jerusalem, the Pharisees come out and says, go from here, get out of here. Herod wants to kill you. And Jesus called Herod a fox. He says, you go tell that fox. Well, what did Herod want to do? 
Well, Herod wanted to kill Jesus. The foxes want to kill the life and the power of God. They want to kill your love for Jesus Christ. They want to destroy it. They want to destroy the love of God from you. The love that you have to make you passive, to, to let you allow these little things that, well, they maybe are, are unnoticed by people, but, but God notices them, and they take root, root, and they start consuming you, and pretty soon they're no longer a little thing, but they destroyed the destiny and purposes of God for you, and they've destroyed your love. They've destroyed the purposes of God, your fruitfulness from your life. So what are the little foxes? What are those things that are stealing the love of God from you? What are those things that are spoiling, that are ruining, that are devastating, that are binding up your vineyard, that are keeping you from being fruitful, that are stealing the life and the power and the love of God from you? What are those things? Now Jesus told a parable. It's called the parable of the sower and the seed. And the sower goes out and he's sowing seed. And some of the seed, they fall fall in certain places and the one place they fall is a place where there's thorns and in the Bible later on Jesus tells what this parable parable means it says the seed that fell among the thorns these are the ones that have heard and they go on their way and they're choked by worries choked by riches they are choked by the pleasures of life and they bring no fruit to maturity they bring no fruit to maturity their fruit only comes up a little ways and it's choked out it's choked out and I tell you what, the little foxes can be the pleasures of this life. It can be the worries of this life. The little foxes can be the riches of this life. I was walking outside just praying and talking to the Lord. I said, Lord, I know you speak so much to me in these devotions. God, show me any little fox in my life that would ruin our vineyards of love. Show me anything that would keep me from the destiny that you have for me. Oh, God, show me. So as I'm walking, the Lord just began to say, Begin to say to me, he said, Debbie, and just, just as I felt in my heart, said, Debbie, said, you know, Debbie, so you, you need to know that I love you so very much. And I want that love to give you boldness. And I want that love to give you confidence. And I want that love that you know that I have for you to believe, cause you to believe that I will do anything through you. Debbie, I want you to be confident in my love. I said, okay, Lord. God, help me catch that little fox for me. Lord, help me to be confident in your love for me. Now, what are the little foxes? You know, I'm careful about what I watch. I'm careful about what I watch on any kind of movie or internet or whatever. I'm careful. I recognize they can be little foxes or I could say they can be huge foxes. They can be, they're foxes. But I'm also careful about the quantity that I watch. I'm very careful because I know that it can be a little fox that will steal my destiny. It could steal the things I need to write. It could steal the prayers I need to pray. It can steal the people I need to be with, the witness to. It can steal the letters I need to write. It can steal the encouragement I need, need to give to others. It can steal the destiny and purpose of God from me. What are the little foxes? Well, it can be the negativity. It can be hanging out with the wrong people. I remember the Lord spoke to me one time. He said, Debbie, watch who you hang out with, who you walk with. Watch who you walk with for the people that if you walk with the wrong people, they'll make your feet bleed. Well, I had this dream and I'm walking with this person and I sit down and I look and my feet are all bloody. They're all ripped and torn up. And I knew that the Lord was saying, you better be careful about hanging out with that person. What are the foxes? What are the foxes in your life? Now, they can be a multitude of things. I remember one time Donnie and I were having such a difficult time that we had all kinds of people that were upset with us and against us and they were fighting us in every way. And we were just trying to keep our hearts right. But we were, I mean, I was just dealing with so much unforgiveness and bitterness. And we went outside to pray in our van because we didn't want the kids to hear about us talking or, and they did, we didn't want them to hear what we were praying about. And as we were sitting there, I look and Donnie, I go, Donnie, look. There's this fox that comes out of the weeds and goes under our vineyard, our little vine. We had a scumpernog vine or a muscadine, one of those southern, southern grape vines. And uh, that, that little fox goes right under there. And we were like, 
You just need something you never see. We knew God was talking to us. We got on our face and we said, Lord, I, we are so sorry. God, you help us to forgive these people. God, help us to respond in the right way, Lord. Help us, Lord Jesus, not to be bitter of heart. Oh, God, take those foxes from us. Take it from us. See, God wants to catch the foxes for us. We don't have the strength or the power in ourselves. The Shulamite knew that. The Bride of Christ, you know that. She says, she says to her beloved, and we have to say to Jesus Christ, she says, catch the foxes for us, the little foxes that are ruining the vineyards of our love while our vineyards are in blossom. Will you catch it, Lord? Catch it now. Lord, will you catch it? See, Jesus wants you to come to him. And he says what you ask in his name, he will do. But you've got to ask. You've got to come to him. And you know, a lot of these things are hidden. Just like I said, when I was walking down the outside, walking up and down the road, just talking to him. Just as I said, Lord, is there anything? Sometimes these things are little. They're insignificant, unnoticed. We don't notice that they're stealing the life and the destiny of God. But we don't know that they're stealing God's purposes from us, the things we need to write, the people we need to see, the, the Bible, the time of, in his word. We don't realize the things that they're stealing from us, but they're stealing from us. Now, we have we ask Jesus, he'll, He will take care of those things. God will take care of them. And when He reveals those things to us, we've got to be people that say, Oh, God, I agree with you. God, that is a little fox. And yes, Lord, God, it is stealing the fruitfulness of God from me. God, it's stealing my love for you. Will you please forgive me? I am so sorry. I turn away from that. And I turned at you. And God will give you the strength and he'll give you the power and the might and the might to do that because he's already paid the price through his precious shed blood. He, he shed upon that cross to wash away your sins and not just to wash away your sins, but when he rose from the dead, he came to live inside of you. When you said, Jesus, forgive me for my sins, cleanse me from all unrighteousness. I need you to be my savior. God, take me, take me. I need you. When you did that, well, his life and his power came inside of you, and now he's living inside of you to defeat every little fox, every little thing. Now, I am going to pray for you, and I'm going to ask Jesus to I'm going to ask Jesus to touch you. I'm going to ask him to catch the foxes for us. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus for your precious ones. Oh Jesus, you love them, you love them. Oh God, you love these people so very, very much. God, I'm asking in Jesus' name, reveal every unnoticed, Lord, every insignificant thing, Lord, every small thing that they don't even realize, Lord God, that's a fox in their life. And God, those things that they know that are, God, Lord, I pray you real, that you'd unveil those hidden things, Lord God. And Father God, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, that you'd not only uncover them, but Lord, I'm asking that you would catch them. Catch these little foxes, Lord. Let the conviction of Jesus come upon each and every one of us for every little thing that's keeping us from your love, from your life, from your power, from your purposes, from the destiny that you have from us, from those things that need to be written, Lord God, from the things that need to be studied, from the people that need to be seen, that we need to see, from those things that we need to do for you, Lord God, through your power and might. God, I pray in Jesus' name, God, Deliver us from those things, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord. And God, I also pray for those this, this week that they're going through difficult things, Lord. God, will you? I know you will. God, I'm asking, Lord, you wrap your arms of love around them, that you would hold them close. God, that you would you speak over them who they are in you, that you would let them know that, Lord God, as they ask you, as they call upon you, God, you're putting their enemies to flight, Lord. As they submit themselves to you, Lord, the enemy has to flee, Father, as they resist the evil one. God, let them know that you're turning things around for good because that's the way you are. You're an awesome and a powerful and a mighty and a good God that loves them, loves them so much. So I ask this in Jesus' name, and I thank you, and I give you praise for catching every little fox for us and for pouring out your kindness over your people. Amen. Now, you have a wonderful week, and know that God, he loves you. Oh, this God loves you. He loves you. Jesus loves you so much, and he's faithful to catch every little fox that you just ask him to. He'll do it for you. 
He loves you. God bless you, and you have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.